found us. Out of fuel, out of light, and on the side of a mountain. But we're laughing. For my friends, it's a successful day. But by society's standards, we're the crazy ones. Risk takers and daredevils. Now I have no interest in the norm. The only friends that I want are these crazy ones. We've been brought together by this sport. Now, we're not perfect. But out here, we're reliable, calculated, and some would even call us professionals. <laughs> These are my friends. This is my friend. He's not very smart. Very not smart at all. Jay and Blaine, and uh, we're gonna go ride. Those guys just raced, first race of the season for them. They're uh, they put a lot of work into this, so it's fun to come support them and uh, keep up with what they're doing, see how they operate, and they just uh, do things at a different level. When you ride with these guys, you're like, yeah, we gotta be in Wyoming. They're Western, they're, Blaine is a legit cowboy. Blaine is uh, one of the most clever, handy, cowboy sons of bitches I've ever met. <laughs> There's not another Blaine Matthews. Yeah, so it's pretty funny, you know, we're best friends um, and going into races, for example, you know, we go there, we're supporting each other and wanting each other to do the very best. And, and you know, we're, we're helping each other. We help each other build each other's sleds and tune on them and practice and we're pushing each other. But when we pull up to the starting line, you know, we both still want to go win. You know, it's like, I want to beat him, but if anybody's, anybody's going to beat me, I hope it's him. You know, and I feel like that's vice versa as well. Um, and then, you know, as soon as the run's over, you know, it's like, uh, hey man, awesome run. You know, you beat me, good job. You know, or, or the other way, hey man, I got you. You can get me next time. But, uh, and, and like, you know, we've talked in the past, you know, when one of us wins, we both win, you know, really. Like, that's, that's the main thing is like, as long as one of us is winning, we feel like we're succeeding. Um, and, and that's our goal, you know, is just try to be on top no matter what it is and what we have to do to do it. You know, there's all these hubs in the snowmobile industry of like really good riders and stuff, but this zone just, it has the whole hill climb, like race circuit revolves around the area that we're in. And these guys grew up here and the way that they ride, not only in, on the race course, but in the backcountry is so fast and aggressive that, I mean, per, like really, really good rider per capita around here is insane. And if you wanna be a good rider, like these are the guys that you need to surround yourself with. Yeah, for sure. You know, obviously a lot of our buddies are ride different brands and all that. Uh, but again, you know, that's the cool thing with the sled community. And they, even the manufacturers is they push this, like, go out and be with your friends on the snow. You know, just be on a snowmobile. You know, it's so enjoyable. And, you know, Ross, he's on Lynx and we're on ski -Doo, So they are under the same family, but they still are their own, you know, companies. So being on different brands, you know, at the end of the day, we're all having fun and we're riding, we're getting the same same out of this all, you know, we're, we, we love the adventure, the thrill, the excitement, the pushing yourselves, pushing your friends. But at the end of the day when we go home, we still have our own obligations to our manufacturers, you know, like you know, Ross with Lynx and us with ski -Doo. But it's so easy to do all, to handle all those obligations, you know, to be doing our job right and the best ability we can for them. 
but at the same time to be together riding for the same reason because we absolutely love riding snowmobiles. You can't feel the heat until you hold your hand over the flame. Time to go farm. It's gonna be sick. The boys are firing on all syllables. We only know six of them. And you won't find the beat until you lose yourself. That's why we won't back down. We will run it high. Yeah, because these are the things that we can't do. I get the blood pumping. <sighs> rowdy, rowdy. I need. I needed multiple world championship hill cl hill climb winners to bust that out for me. Then the old Roscoe scary. could get his ass up it. <laughs> it was. We were at dinner last night, and it's just like that guy's so fast. That guy's so fast. There's like 12 pro racers, like all at one dinner table. No matter like who they ride for or what they ride, they're all just you know sharing experience and. You know, they, they're they fierce competitors, but also friends uh, off the race course. So it's really cool. The camaraderie's insane. Something that I didn't grow up with. I grew up outside of this, but to be able to step in and see it all is uh, pretty special. Ross is one of the few in the industry that's actually like pioneering new cool projects and bringing a, a fresh look to sledding. And he's, uh, we're, we're all gonna thank him for that in the years to come because he's, he's the guy to open up new doors for us. And that's huge, that's like one of Ross's biggest attributes is that creative mind to like get these things rolling and actually get them from paper to finished product. So I'm so stoked to be a part of it and to know Ross and, and be buddies with him and and have the opportunity to be a part of his projects and just be his friend. It just 